Previously on Greek. I'm so happy when I'm around you. I'm happy when I'm around you too. You never mentioned that you knew a Capitao. He, we met during Rush. It's no big deal. Vesuvius is a homecoming legend. It's the party against which all of the parties are judged. Farewell, my sisters. Keep the principles of Zeta Beta Zeta close to your heart always. Hi! I'm sure I am gonna miss Lizzie. Really? Not at all. We have eyes and ears everywhere. There won't be any second chances here. We can't desert our sister now. If Rebecca goes, I go. You're really going against me. Yep. Anyway, I thought I could do my sisterly duty and offer to relieve your responsibilities. I know what she's doing. She's solidifying her power base among the freshmen. Franny can't run for president again. It's against national rules. She was officially removed. Truce? Friends close, enemies closer. You're gonna do a lot better than that. Can the answer best not happen? Ernsthaft? Okay, aber ich werde dir keine Nachhilfe mehr geben. Verdammt! Uh-oh. What do the Germans do now? I'm sorry. Part of my RA job is to plan the residents' annual Galileo party. It's this weekend. I've been trying to find a place for weeks. The Deutsch House was my last hope. Oh, I didn't know engineers had theme parties, too. Yeah, it's just this one. But who cares? What? It's not important. Other things are important. I'll figure something out. Of course you will. That's why you're a genius. If you can understand that book, you can plan a party. Ooh, wait, party planner. I'm gonna put that on my career shortlist. But you're you're an English major. I am, but unlike your major, it doesn't come with a built-in career path. Everyone speaks English, which is why I was thinking this might serve as a stepping stone to something else. Like, uh, publishing? No, uh, <laughs> a job at Nationals. I have to go to this convention, so I thought if I have to be dragged away from spending the weekend with you, which is all I really want to do, the least I could do is make the best of it. Use this weekend for a little networking, I have to do something after graduation. You can do anything, because you're amazing. Once the candy hits the soda, everybody needs to stand back. The waiting will make it all the sweeter. Ah, good afternoon. Refreshing mint? Officer? Sergeant? At arms? Commandant? Fire Marshal. Just doing the rounds to make sure all the houses are up to code. Oh, well, you might as well just keep on moving because when it comes to codes, the Capitals have them covered. From Morse to Da Vinci. Well, there's your first violation right there. And there's your second. Gently used blow up doll? That's so disgusting. Yeah. How about a nice throw rug? It's uh, lightly stained, which really just gives it the nice antique feel. No. I'm only. Uh, uh, are you in the market for a wig made of human hair? I'm on my way to class and I just have to use the bathroom. Oh, oh, um, well, in that case, it'll be 25 cents cash only. Damn it! been five hours and zero sales. Hey, what about the tripod that paid me three dollars to shave her initials into my chest there? Thank you, Pledge. No. <sighs> Let's talk about something important. Heath, put the beer down. Beer's for closers only. I said put the beer down. It's ABC. Always be closing. Now, you've got to sell when you hit the bricks. Or in this case, we all hit the bricks. Because that son of a bitch fire marshal gave us 30 days to fix all eight of our violations and to bring our sprinkler system to code. And it's gonna cost us. So we've got to sell. Are we gonna lose the house, Cat? Nah. All we gotta do is raise six grand really, really, really fast. Don't get me wrong, you look amazing, but is that really gonna be comfortable on a plane? Oh. Where did dressing for comfort ever get anyone? I dress the way I want people to see me, even on a plane, and definitely when I'm at the ZBZ convention. Hey, you are going to outshine everyone there anyway. Oh. I know. <laughs> Evan, I'm not one of those needy girls who requires support and encouragement to prop me up, but I appreciate the thought. Oh, we need to go. Oh, and don't forget to RSVP to the Dean's Spring Reception. It's a real honor we've been invited. Yes, dude. Wow. Who knew 
there were so many different shades of pink. <laughs> I know, I love it. Ew, don't love that. But how much does it suck that you got to be here just because she's pledge educator now? No sucking. I'm here to impress nationals, and since Franny is persona non grata with them, she can't touch me. And where's Taken? She's number one on my ass kissing list. I'm not leaving this convention without a summer internship. And I'm not leaving without one of those ZBZ beverage cozies and bookmarks. They're free! <gasps> Casey Cartwright, as I live and ZB breathe. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you here in the folds of sisterhood. Hi, Lizzie. Wait, we forgot the secret ZBZ handshake. The registration table is low on seminar packets. I'm on it, KK. Poor Tay Tay's really been spreading herself thin between her and council duties and now the convention. I was hoping to say hi, maybe talk to her for a summer internship. But maybe I'll wait until she's in a better mood. Well, good luck with that. Mind if I come in? Yes. I can't find anywhere to hold the Galileo party on campus, so I'm just letting everyone know it's canceled. I'm sorry. Gee darn it, this campus has endless available locations for undeserving, perverted students that want to act inappropriately, but when a group of elite academics want to blow off some steam while debunking Aristotelian physics, suddenly everything's booked up. I call bull hinky. Nobody wants to let us drop objects off the roof. Liability. Did you tell them that a little building called the Leaning Tower of Pisa didn't have a problem with Galileo doing just that? Uh, no. Well, nice negotiating skills. I know who would let us drop things off the roof. The Capitals. And we really need the money to fix our sprinkler system. Rusty, I don't think Galileo Galilei would approve of his theories being evoked in such an unsanitary environment. Galileo lived during the Renaissance when people avoided bathing for fear it would wash away their spirits, so cleanliness wasn't really a priority. The unsanitary environment would add an air of authenticity to the proceedings. You know what? I'm not going to shower until after the party to keep it real, because that's science. What do you think? Oh, uh, I think you should shower. Capital? That's a great idea, considering we have no other options. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm getting there. Madam President. It's okay, Lizzie. Okay, thank you. Greetings, sisters. My name is Mary Beth Gentry Manning, and I am proud to call myself Grand National President of Zeta Beta Zeta. Greetings, Madam President. Please stand for the processional of the Grand Council. Over the years I sing. The first processional occurred in 1876 as a way to honor the nation's centennial. Someone even played a fife. Isn't that awesome? And scary that you know that. I read about it in Zeta Beta Zeta, the history in words and pictures. Ever since I became a tour guide, I have a new appreciation for history. Like Mary Beth Gentry Manning, she grew up next door to Katie Couric's mom. See, history, so juicy. Of course, we're here today to feel that unique magic that is sisterhood. We can feel it in the warmth of a ZBZ smile that greets us after a long day of traveling to get here. From as far away as California, or Phoenix. <laughs> but that special ZBZ magic expresses itself elsewhere too, in our national bylaws. And so, at every convention, we open up the floor to our sisters to offer an open forum to any sister who wants to suggest legislative change. Yes. I formally propose that we change the official ZBZ anthem from Our Sisters Ourselves to Oh Sister, My Sister. Oh, down. Our current anthem belongs in a funeral and I for one am not dead yet. Proposal duly noted. Yes. Once again, I beg you all to reconsider the shamefully superficial rush standards that our chapters use. Instead of the prettiest girls with the best clothes, we should aim for inner beauty. Duly noted again, Regina. Thank you. Okay, any other proposals? I have one. Yes. I move to overturn Rule 16A, which states that removal from office precludes the removed party from ever seeking that office again. Okay. I can't believe this. I know. Our Sisters Ourselves has been the ZBZ anthem for over a hundred years. You created me? You can destroy me as if the game we're playing? No game case, it's simple. I want to be president again. I think I deserve to be and you don't if you're this clueless about how the system works. Clueless, please. I know you can introduce whatever legislation you want, but it's an uphill battle to get it passed. <laughs> That legislation will get passed over my dead, cute body. Hey, oh, oh listen, you. Um, is it enough about to get legislation passed? Is it? I, I need to know because I just said that it was. What, Casey? 
I need to stop Franny from getting that ban overturned. I cannot face that Barracuda in an election. She taught me everything I know, and she probably held back the really good stuff for herself. Get a hold of yourself! I'm sorry. I know better than to handle a sister roughly. It's just, I sat Miss Eastern Ohio 65 next to Miss Eastern Ohio 67 during the processional. Well, who knew that 67 slept with 65's husband at the 69 pageant? Not me. I am no help to Tay-Tay unless I anticipate. That was bad. Hmm. I'm afraid there's only so much you can do. The Grand Council votes on every proposed amendment at the end of the convention in a closed door session. So if four out of seven members vote to overturn the ban, it's a done deal. So I have two days to convince the council to vote against Franny? It'll take some serious lobbying. Go see busy. Hey guys, great news. We don't need to do the repairs ourselves. My dorm will pay us to have our annual Galileo party here this weekend. Really? My RA Max is in charge of it. He's completely on board. And you'll finally get to hang out with him. He's so cool. Oh, yeah. Well, honors engineering is the very definition of cool. <laughs> and that's just the very beginning, because we can keep renting out the house for parties until we have everything paid off. So we'd be an event hall of sorts. We can host weddings. I can get ordained online. It'd, it'd be like a one-stop shop. Capital, party palace, and chapel of love. Featuring Father Cappy, of course. How cool is that? Getting paid to do something we love. It'd be like getting paid to have sex. That's what Hunker's always complaining about. Just keep in mind, guys, this will not be a Capitao party here tomorrow night, though. These are honors engineers, so no booze, no hot chicks, just robots. Listen, even if it's the lamest party in the history of the Capitao house, at least there will still be a Capitao house. Taken! Uh, wow, I didn't know you were teaching this seminar. Oh, <laughs> planning your will at 21, huh? I'm a planner. What do you want? Oh, uh, well, now that you mention it, I did want to make sure that I'd have your support in voting against Frenny's motion tomorrow. You of all people know how damaging Frenny's leadership was to the chapter. It certainly was. I also know how damaging it was to my authority, and not to mention my ego, when you publicly defied me during Greek week. That was an unfortunate situation, and I'm sure you'll agree that Franny... Franny is the one who called to warn me about Rebecca's Greek week behavior in the first place. Franny was your eyes and ears? It's quid pro quo, Casey. Franny has demonstrated that she has Nationals' best interest in mind. Someone like that deserves another shot. So, she gets my vote. Yeah, I am glad you called. Yeah. I mean, Franny's gone, and, and I don't know. For some reason, I just really needed guys' night out. Yeah, well, I just came back from playing Pictionary with Michael and his Brad friends for three hours straight. Mm. I think it's a little too early for you guys to start acting like a old married couple. The highlight was uh, someone drew a cupcake that looked like a giant boob, <laughs> and everyone started laughing. Grad students are really repressed. Yeah, well, never underestimate the power of a boob. Um, speaking of which, do you know her? She is waiting for us to go over to her table. What do you think? I think I'm getting it. I think you'll go for it. I think it's just a little almost flirting. Not like anything's going to happen when you say, oh, too late. Hey, guys. Mind if we join you? You owe me one. Oh, hey, make sure you keep the receipts. This is all in the nerds. Got it. <laughs> Who shows up to a party at seven? How nice and odd of you to bring your own fruit punch. Oh, and a ladle. And a ladle. <laughs> at this rate, we'll be done in time to have our very own party to celebrate our first customers. Hey, I recognize that guy from Casino Night. Cappy, this is Max. Ben Bennett, Max. Hey, you might want to move some of this furniture out of here. Yeah, we should probably move some of this furniture out of here. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, anyway, I wouldn't worry about the furniture. This is Capital. I'm sorry? Surely our reputation precedes us. Your honors engineers are no match for our parties or our furniture. Right, Spitter? Don't say I didn't warn you. If things start to go wrong, you can defend us to the Holy Roman Tribunal. <laughs> Well, Galileo had to defend his heretical teachings to the Pope. This is the Galileo party. So where'd Spitter come from? Oh, that's just something I call him. It's a nickname. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. What a complete dude. Uh, even B found a cute girl. Yes, but come on. 
She looks like she's late for a hobbit wedding. Yeah, she's still pretty hot. These guys are sensitive to sugar. It's not sugar. The ADJ. Better translation? The punch. Aerosol death juice. It's homemade from a special fermentation process developed by some of our chemical engineers to maximize efficient inebriation. Translation, the punch. No translation needed. So it's like a wine spritzer of sorts. Well, if need be, KTs have a foolproof hangover cure developed by some of our chemical dependence that cuts headache duration in half. Oh, we don't need that, because Max already has one that completely eliminates headaches. You know, I may have really underestimated these capitals. It was pretty nice of them to provide a non-alcoholic beverage option for us teetotalers, right? And this... This punch is really thirst-quenching, too. I find. You know, it's funny. I thought I was getting a sore throat, but now I just feel kind of tingly all over. <laughs> Should we make out? Now, sisters, please open to page 37 of your songbook and join me in the ZBZ. Friendship song, Appreciate the Pink. I love the pink you let me wear. I love the joy it brings to me. I have a great idea. If you'll guarantee me your support in tomorrow's council vote, I will personally bring CRU's top 10 CBZ sisters to your alma mater to act as rush coaches. Dear, that sounds wonderful. You have my vote. Great. Now, will you excuse me? Shining like a lipstick is really, really thin. It's hard to miss. We can't stand people. Oh, let me get that. Yeah. Thanks. Hi, I'm I'm Paula. Hi, Casey. <laughs> You're uh, working the room, I see. Only way to get things done. It is indeed. I'll, I'll leave you to it. I wouldn't waste your time on Bunchy. She just promised me her vote. My whole redemption should be all really resonated with her as a born again. Hallelujah. That makes three for me and three for me. And only tag and uncommitted. So I gotta say, I'm really liking my odds. And now, let's wrap this up with the sisterhood solidarity song, I Will Never Betray My Dear Sister. I will never betray my dear sister. And I told him not to cut it too short, but he didn't listen, and, and I think it makes my face look fat. Are you kidding? No, you, you look great. Really? Yeah. You are so sweet. You. Pretty great yourself. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's your major, Brianna? I'm Brianna. She's Alana. She's Alana, and, and she's Brianna. <laughs> I'm Brianna, and she's Alana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. We're gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. So, Brianna has invited me to go back to her place. Do you mind if we take off? Hold on, man. What happened to the harmless flirting? Since when did you become a Franny champion? And she's, she's in Orlando. Okay, so what she doesn't know won't hurt her. No, Calvin. Calvin Owens. We were in college, all right? And this is the one chance we have to follow our impulses. And we can do whatever we want and get away with it. College is about sowing wild oats, not Pictionary. The Dean's receptions. The Dean's what? Never mind. Hey, later, come. Oh, oh, oh. Try it. <laughs> We're done now. Hey, no, 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 guys, this is this is nothing. Hey, man, come on, game isn't working. Oh, come on, do man. Come on, come back. Pledge, will you get the nerd off the guys? I'm gonna handle things inside. <laughs> Oh, they're playing pool again. I confiscated all the cues. It's like the gremlins. See you in Elvis again? Sarah Londe. I think I'm falling in love with you. Lena She's not alone. Hey, what are you? Get out of here! 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 Get
Take this and destroy it. Take Jeremy upstairs and guard his trusses with your very life. Shutting this party down. Cap! Hey! Who knew this would be a legendary Capital party after all? Okay, the Capital House is a respectable establishment, full of individuals who know how to hold their liquor, or at the very least, how to dispose of it in the proper manner. I'm sorry, it does tend to get a little out of hand. That's why we couldn't find a place to hold it. You know that the lecture hall, the fine arts building that was condemned? That was because of us. It was uh, an unfortunate incident with a genetically modified raccoon. It would have been nice to have that information in advance. Since when does a party getting out of hand bother you? Yeah, I, I heard you're the biggest party around. Uh, Casey said that's why you guys broke up. Casey, what do you know about Casey? She's my, uh... Um, uh, we're, we're dating. Oh. Well, your, uh... Your gal Casey knows of what she speaks. I don't know what that is. Yes, Lizzie, I did tell you to cancel the household etiquette seminar, but if you had been smarter, you would have anticipated that I would change my mind. Oh, and don't call me Tay-Tay. <sighs> Hi, Casey, what's new? And I say new because it can't possibly be that you're beating the dead bylaw horse again. Actually, I have a few ideas for how to help you. Quid pro quo, remember? I can organize a recruiting drive for flailing houses, hold a philanthropy. That is adorable. You must be great in brush skits. But seriously, hun, you're not going to be able to find a quid for my quo. <sighs> I take that back. If you can fulfill my wildest fantasy and get rid of Lizzie, you've got yourself a deal. Get rid of Lizzie? Yeah, convince that elfin little pipsqueak to hit the road. But you want me to get Lizzie to quit? Well, I can't fire her. Her record is spotless. And she is a paragon of sisterly spirit. But I also cannot stand her constant effervescence and her springy hair. And I did not give your permission to call me by a nickname. So, there you have it. You perform that little miracle, and there might be a summer internship in it for you. I don't get it, man. This is is strong. Those two just don't belong together. Men and nipples. Mm. Why? It's, like, it's not like milk comes out of them. Actually, some male infants have been known to excrete their mother's milk from their own nipples. <laughs> <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Oh. <laughs> You're insane, Chip. <laughs> it's Dale. Right, I knew it's one of them. Mm. Hey, so what's the deal with this? Max guy. Dude sucks. I'm I. I'm Gluteus Maximus. <laughs> I'm socially awkward and I walk with my left foot turned slightly out because I'm weird. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Cub. I'm Maxi Pad, the kind with wings because I was in NASA. Too bad I couldn't solve Fermi's theorem with a gun to me head. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi Pad. <laughs> oh, you're too much. <laughs> How'd you come up with that? Oh, man, that's just how I roll. <laughs> How come we've never hung out? I don't know. You're awesome. I know. We should be best friends. Yeah. Hey, you know what? We are best friends. Cap and Dale. These pants make my bottom itch. Crazy pants. Let's go. Lay down for now. Oh, yeah. Bring it in. Got a glass of Chardonnay? Thank you. Wow. You must be really stressed out. I'm. I'm weary. This year alone, I have consulted at 20 chapters. I've colonized 20 new ones. And I personally shepherded three sisters into rehab. One at the expense of my Tercel's upholstery. Do you think Tegan appreciates it? Lizzie, I hate to see you like this. Your natural effervescence is one of your most winning qualities. What a shame to have it so cruelly squelched. I know. I used to love this job. But now, do you think maybe you should just quit? Quit. ZPC is my life. Oh, I know. But is it a happy life? Life is short, Lizzie. You're a talented, young-ish woman with a lot to offer. You deserve to work for someone who appreciates you, not some awful wench who badmouths you to everyone about using ivory dinner plates instead of cream. She does that? She did.
Thank you, Casey. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna tell Taken exactly where to stick Crazy Peasy letters. Ivory and cream are the same damn color. I'm busy here, Russ. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. It's an emergency. Have you seen that roommate, Dale? I'm getting worried about him. A dark hair, glasses, a members-only jacket. <laughs> Your roommate? He's nuts. The last time I saw him, he was uh, talking to himself in the mirror. And then he started hanging out with a pillow. Go away. <laughs> Has anyone seen Dale? <laughs> hey, has anybody seen my pants? They're like... You look awful. You've been avoiding me. Where's Dale? Not here. We're all alone. What's going on? What's up? I might ask the same of you. Tell me, Rusty, is the rumor true? What rumor? The blind taste test? Do the Cartwright kids prefer Maxwell House over Folgers? And when I say Maxwell House, I mean Max. And when I say Folgers, I mean Cappy. Oh my god. Are you jealous of Max? No. Only his fresh roasted aroma. Okay. <laughs> Can we go? I'm feeling skidded out. But the class of 79 is next. You'll miss Saturday night ZB Zeber. I don't know how you did it, but nice going. <laughs> you got my vote. I think I'm ready to call it a night and miss the cutting of the kitty cat cake? Ever since 1932, when flour was hard to come by during the Depression. Right. So, let me guess. Getting things done again? It's done. You don't sound too happy. Really? I thought I was so good at faking it. I'm not good at faking it either. This morning, Mary Beth Gentry Manning caught me rolling my eyes at the breakfast proclamation. I'm probably on some kind of list now. <laughs> you do, the bad sisters list. Mm. But I guess there's always something to compromise when you're going after what you want, right? That's true. I remember when I was president of my chapter, having served that vaunted post, just like you, my dear, I know all about compromise. Back in the day, I had a friend who rushed ZBC when I was president. She was a nice girl, smart, but not exactly ZBC material, as we say. Mm. But since she was an old friend, I... Realized that loyalty and integrity were more important than the image of the house. So you let her in. I blackballed her. How? Oh. I didn't see that coming. Neither did she. She never spoke to me again. And you can bet I'd rather look back on myself the way you just described me as someone with loyalty and integrity, not to mention someone with the balls to stand up for a friend. But uh, that's hard, especially when you're young. OK, so I have the energy to fight. It's just better to fight smart, right? Why confront something head on when you can just work around it? And play it safe. Playing it safe is what you do when you're afraid. Let me tell you something else I wish I'd known when I was young. There are very few things worth being afraid of. Ugh. What? They killed a cop? Killed who? Vesuvius. No. It's not fair. She was so strong. And now, thanks to them, she's dead. <laughs> I mean, that's, I know. Oh, I know. Where's the front door? Probably rotting in the ground with Vesuvius. I know. I know. Man, I'm really sorry, guys. You okay? Okay. Well, so much for Capitao. Party Palace and Chapel of Love. Hey, Russ. I'm a little disoriented right now. Do you know what happened to my clothes? Or why I woke up with this? Uh, you took a little too much sore throat medicine last night, Dale. It made you feel a little woozy. Well, I really would have preferred that you just walk me home. Next time. Okay. Hey. Hey. Does anyone know whose pants these are? Because they are really making my bottom itch. <laughs> that party was out of control. But the craziest thing was, 
It was you showing up afterwards? Yeah, I uh, plead temporary insanity on that one. So you wish you hadn't come over? No, I'm glad I did. So uh, what now? I don't know. All I know is I'm in college, and I like to have fun, and have fun with you. But what about Michael? Open up, open up, open up. Casey, oh, you came to say goodbye? That's uh, so sweet. No, I, I came to say stop packing. Stop packing and stop being afraid. It's time you and I face things head on. Ash, it's time to get serious. And it starts with the hair. So, how was last night? Oh, oh, that. Yeah, nothing happened. Really? Mm hmm Nothing with, uh, Brianna? No, uh, you know, I walked her home and I came back to the house. Wait, so you, you didn't cheat on Franny? You know, I figure when you cheat on someone, you're just giving them a reason to dump you. And I still find Franny intriguing. I'm not ready for her to dump me yet, you know what I mean? I guess. I don't know if I can do this. I'm not the kind of girl who disturbs when it says do not. Lizzie, you're perfectly quaffed and rocking some seriously imposing lips. Now you go in there and tell Tegan you're not quitting, and from now on she needs to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. But if I stay, you lose Tegan's vote, and Franny's gonna get her way. I'm not afraid anymore, Lizzie. Now you get in there and start disturbing. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry, sister. Lizzie? Hmm. I didn't give you permission to call me by a nickname. And I'm not going anywhere, Tay Tay. What are you so smiley about? Sometimes people smile when they're happy, Brenny. By happy, do you mean deluded? Because my sources assure me that I've got this vote locked up. Four to three. Yes, this vote, you do. But the only vote I care about is for president, and I'm happy to have you challenge me for that fair and square, because I cannot wait to kick your ass. Murderers! I don't know if you're welcome here right now. We came to help. These guys invented a DVR that detects and records any pornography playing anywhere in the entire world. So, first you trash our house, and now you're bragging? That's just bad form. Uh, no, I, I, I'm just saying they're geniuses, and they can help get the house back into shape, even fix the sprinkler system and all the other violations. And I, I brought you some of my patented hangover cure. It actually is patented. Thank you. Okay, so, um, you guys, give me two nerds. Looks like we're home free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks to Supermax. Yeah. <sighs> we would have figured something else out on our own. Yeah. But I have this other problem that I wanted to ask you about. Why don't you just go ask Max? Oh, Max would never be good at this. You know, good with girl problems. Girl problems? I'm great with girl problems. Causing them, complicating them further, solving them. Hit me, come on. Uh, well, you know, there's this girl in my literature class. Um, her name is Miley. Miley Montana. Sounds familiar. She acts one way during the day, but then she's totally different during the night. I'm so confused. It's bitter. That one's almost too easy. Let me tell you about this girl I met freshman year. Oh, Nina, you better not lose my email. I will totally be there for your 30th anniversary party. Well, you are looking much more chipper than the last time I saw you. I am chipper, thanks. And thanks for the advice. Oh, you know, I really enjoyed meeting you, Casey. You strike me as a young woman with a lot of potential. That's my contact information. If you find yourself in my neck of the woods, give me a call. You got that? Thank you. OK, ladies, chins out, hand down. Body three quarters turn. Paula Baker? Why does that sound familiar? Paula Baker, one of our most illustrious sisters. Ten-term congresswoman from Maryland's 43rd district, currently serving on the House Appropriations Committee. Wow. I know. I told you history is fun. Yeah. So is politics. Maybe I shouldn't be limiting myself to just the sorority kind. 
Okay, girls, this is it. Big smiles all around. See you next time, sisters. Previously on Greek. I'm so happy when I'm around you. And I'm happy when I'm around you too. You never mentioned that you knew what happened to Al. Keith, we met during Rush. It's no big deal. Vesuvius is a homecoming legend. It's the party against which all of the parties are judged. Farewell, my sisters. Keep the principles of Zeta Beta Zeta close to your heart always. Bye! Bye. I sure am gonna miss Lizzie. Really? Not at all. We have eyes and ears everywhere. There won't be any second chances here. We can't desert our sister now. If Rebecca goes, I go. You're really going against me. Yep. Anyway, I thought I could do my sisterly duty and offer to relieve your responsibilities. I know what she's doing. She's solidifying her power base among the freshmen. Franny can't run for president again. It's against national rules she was officially removed. Truce? Friends close, enemies closer. You're gonna do a lot better than that. Can we on the best door table? Ernsthaft? Okay, aber ich werde dir keine Nachhilfe mehr geben. Verdammt! Uh-oh. What did the Germans do now? I'm sorry. Part of my RA job is to plan the residents' annual Galileo party. It's this weekend. I've been trying to find a place for weeks. The Deutsch House was my last hope. Oh, I didn't know engineers had theme parties, too. Yeah, it's just this one. But who cares? What? It's not important. Other things are important. I'll figure something out. Of course you will. That's why you're a genius. If you can understand that book, you can plan a party. Ooh, wait! Party planner. I'm gonna put that on my career shortlist. But you're a, you're an English major. I am, but unlike your major, it doesn't come with a built-in career path. Everyone speaks English, which is why I was thinking this might serve as a stepping stone to something else. Like, uh, publishing? No, uh, <laughs> a job at Nationals. I have to go to this convention, so I thought if I have to be dragged away from spending the weekend with you, which is all I really want to do, the least I could do is make the best of it. Use this weekend for a little networking. I have to do something after graduation. You can do anything, because you're amazing. Once the candy hits the soda, everybody needs to stand back. The waiting will make it all the sweeter. Ah, oh, good afternoon. Refreshing mint? Officer? Sergeant? At arms? Commandant? Fire Marshal. Just doing the rounds to make sure all the houses are up to code. Oh, we might as well just keep on moving because when it comes to codes, the Capitals have them covered. From Morse to Da Vinci. There's your first violation right there. There's your second. Gently used blow up doll? That's so disgusting. Yeah. How about a nice throw rug? It's uh, lightly stained, which really just gives it the nice antique feel. No. I'm only. Uh, uh, are you in the market for a wig made of human hair? I'm on my way to class and I just have to use the bathroom. Oh, oh, um, well, in that case, it'll be 25 cents cash only. Damn it! It's been five hours and zero sales. Hey, what about the tripod that paid me three dollars to shave initials into my chest there? Thank you, Pledge. No. <sighs> Let's talk about something important. Heath, put the beer down. Beer's for closers only. I said put the beer down. It's ABC. Always be closing. Now, you've got to sell when you hit the bricks. Or in this case, we all hit the bricks. Because that son of a bitch fire marshal gave us 30 days to fix all eight of our violations and to bring our sprinkler system to code. And it's gonna cost us. So we've got to sell. Are we gonna lose the house, cat? Nah! 
All we gotta do is raise six grand really, really, really fast. Don't get me wrong, you look amazing, but is that really gonna be comfortable on a plane? Oh, where did dressing for comfort ever get anyone? I dress the way I want people to see me, even on a plane, and definitely when I'm at the ZBZ convention. Hey, you are going to outshine everyone there anyway. Oh. I know. <laughs> Evan, I'm not one of those needy girls who requires support and encouragement to prop me up, but I appreciate the thought. Oh, we need to go. Oh, and don't forget to RSVP to the Dean Spring reception. It's a real honor we've been invited. Yes, dude. <laughs> There were so many different shades of pink. I know, I love it. Ew, I don't love that. But how much does it suck that you got to be here just because she's pledge educator now? No sucking. I'm here to impress Nashville. So since Franny is persona non grata with them, she can't touch me. Now where's Taken? She's number one on my ass kissing list. I'm not leaving this convention without a summer internship. And I'm not leaving without one of those ZBZ beverage cozies and bookmarks. They're free. Casey Cartwright, as I live and ZB breathe. Come here. I'm so happy to see you here in the folds of sisterhood. Hi, Lizzie. Wait, we forgot the secret ZBZ handshake. The registration table is low on seminar packets. I'm on it, Tay Tay. Poor Tay Tay's really been spreading herself thin between her green council duties and now the convention. I was hoping to say hi and maybe talk to her about a summer internship, but maybe I'll wait until she's in a better mood. Well, good luck with that. Mind if I come in? Yes. I can't find anywhere to hold the Galileo party on campus, so I'm just letting everyone know it's canceled. I'm sorry. Gee darn it, this campus has endless available locations for undeserving, perverted students that want to act inappropriately, but when a group of elite academics want to blow off some steam while debunking Aristotelian physics, suddenly everything's booked up? I call bull hinky. Nobody wants to let us drop objects off the roof. Liability. Did you tell them that a little building called the Leaning Tower of Pisa didn't have a problem with Galileo doing just that? Uh, no. Well, nice negotiating skills. I know who would let us drop things off the roof. The Capitals. And we really need the money to fix our sprinkler system. Rusty, I don't think Galileo Galilei would approve his theories being evoked in such an unsanitary environment. Galileo lived during the Renaissance when people avoided bathing for fear it would wash away their spirits, so cleanliness wasn't really a priority. The unsanitary environment would add an air of authenticity to the proceedings. You know what? I'm not going to shower until after the party to keep it real, because that's science. What do you think? Oh, uh, I think you should shower. Capital? That's a great idea, considering we have no other options. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm getting there. I'm sorry, Madam President. It's okay, Lizzie. Okay, thank you. Greetings, sisters! My name is Mary Beth Gentry Manning, and I am proud to call myself Grand National President of Zeta Beta Zeta. Greetings, Madam President. Please stand for the processional of the Grand Council. Over the years I sing. The first processional occurred in 1876 as a way to honor the nation's centennial. Someone even played a fife. Isn't that awesome? And scary that you know that. I read about it in Zeta Beta Zeta, a history and words and pictures. Ever since I became a tour guide, I have a new appreciation for history. Like Mary Beth Gentry Manning, she grew up next door to Katie Couric's mom. See? History? So juicy. Of course, we're here today to feel that unique magic that is sisterhood. We can feel it in the warmth of a ZBZ smile that greets us after a long day of traveling to get here.